Okay. So just got through filming this great kind of rotational leg class for ankle, knee, hip, all of it. Um, and as I was the model for the class, something that really came to mind when Hannah was talking about how for her setup it feels better to kick that front leg out. I, I can't emphasize this enough that there's uh, so much learning that happens when you repeat the same exercise. Yeah. And, and the other part is that it's specific to you. So you find the setups that actually just completely upgrade the exercise for you. Totally. So Hannah mentioned the straight leg. The one that really came through for me was that when we're doing the pales contraction for that back leg and she's cueing ankle and knee to get heavy and then getting the ankle heavier and heavier, it actually makes a really big difference for me if I think about making my toes heavy as well as my ankle. And that just recruits a different stuff in my hip and I feel what she's asking for in terms of that stretch in the deep, deep part of the hip. I, I didn't find that out in the first maybe five times that I ever did this exercise. And it was just through like, oh, what about if I tried that? Oh, that changes it. So that's all. I just wanted to really kind of circle back to how important repetition is. And so that means find a way to repeat these drills that are you know fun and uh, doable for you. And I'll just yes and that by saying, when you are repeating the same material, that's when that value of curiosity really comes into play. Yeah. Because if you settle into, okay, I'm doing a class that I've done before, I'm just running myself through mm -hmm. the motions, you're gonna miss out on these delightful discoveries that can happen if you're really being curious. How can I get 5% more effort on my pails? How can I get more rotational feeling as I'm doing that hip internal rotation tails, not just pressing straight down. Um, and then as you find those things that really help you, like burying your big toe or your big toe joint mm -hmm. in the ground, like Will described, keep some field notes of those. You can drop them in the app, which means you share them with us, which we love because then we know them, or write them down in an old fashioned paper journal. Figure out what's the best way for you to remember your roadmap to success, right? We want you to be always building the like self-care manual of yourself um, and writing down the shit that really works so that you remember it. Yeah, and when you write it down like that, you know, you're, you're noting what works for you, but you're also noting what works for you today. That's and true. then you're kind of opening the door to going like, oh, maybe a new setup or a, an evolved setup will work even better for me in the future. Yeah. And that, that fits with how our bodies change. Totally. Um, rather than finding like, oh, I need this specific setup and I'm gonna do that to the end of time. No way, it's just nope. trying on different things and see how they work for you over time. For sure. The other thing I wanna add is, I have often had this experience where I'm like, oh my God, I had this amazing epiphany. I'm gonna remember it forever yeah. because it's so <laughs> wonderful and powerful and then a month later, I forget it mm -hmm. because that's natural, right? Mm -hmm. We can only keep so many things in our brains at one time. So when you stumble upon really good stuff, do your future self a favor by writing that shit down. Yep. That's right. a great point. <laughs> we'll leave you with that one.